After nine years of woodworking, I finally decided to make some cutting boards. Boom! I was checking the wood species that I had and found a really cool piece of olive wood that came from my family's village from a tree that was over 500 years old. The board has lots of cracks on both sides and I found it pretty difficult to find a place from where to get a couple of straight strips. It was really confusing to understand where the cracks would go on the opposite side, but eventually I decided to cut a straight edge and go from there. I also cross-cut the piece, making sure I had enough length to get my strips. I went ahead cleaning one face on the jointer and resaw it in half at the bandsaw. I was able to trace a line running diagonally across the grain that actually worked out great because you get to see all the crazy grain pattern on both the edge and the face of the strip. I could then move into cutting a bunch of walnut strips which will be the main wood species of these cutting boards and eventually add a couple strips of hard maple and exotic woods. This is Argentine Osage Orange that seemed pretty stable as a block, but once I opened it, both pieces warped right away. I cut the strips to a size that was closer to the final measurements and then removed the warpedness on the jointer. The walnut pieces were all cross-cut to a slightly oversized length. And here are enough pieces to make a pair of cutting boards. I was a little indecisive at this point and ended up going all in and adding a couple of African Paduk strips as well. Before joining all the wood, it's a good idea to make sure both faces are perfectly straight and smooth so that we don't end up with voids and weird glue seams. The drum sander was my tool of choice because I was very afraid of using the thickness planer and get tear out on some wood species. And all I wanted was to avoid problems and frustration. I can arrange the pieces to a nice visual color progression and make sure the overall dimensions are kept close to a standard medium cutting board size. I thought that it would be pretty cool to have the olive wood strip right at the front where the crazy grain is more visible. Let's set it aside for now and glue the remaining pieces together. I know this will be a pretty stressful part of the project for me, so I try to keep all the accessories and clamps needed within reach. I used a food safe and water resistant glue to make sure the cutting boards do not fall apart in the future. I had some extra wood pieces on hand to serve as leveling blocks. They will assure that the workpiece doesn't cup while it's clamped and will also keep the small strips from vertical misalignment. I was just going to make a small one for myself and then I thought, why not make two extra and have them available on my website? 
I never really put anything that I made for sale on my online shop besides notebooks and prints so I wanted to give you an extremely rare opportunity to grab a wooden project handmade by me. You can visit my shop by clicking the link in the description or going to gethandstory.com. Speaking of which, let me tell you about my move to Zyro and why you should create a website with online shop with Zyro. So first thing, it is very affordable and you get tons of professional features. Whatever you do with whatever knowledge you have, you are able to make a beautiful and fast loading website in just a few hours. You don't have to know coding since everything is drag and drop and looks amazing right away. I moved to Zara after doing an extent research on website building platforms. And in conclusion, Zaro seemed reliable. The website templates are very clean and contemporary looking. The support team is great. And I found out, most importantly, that I was overpaying for features on the previous platform that come already built in with Zyro. So I highly recommend to anyone wanting to have a relevant online presence to go ahead and create a website for their personal brand or business and connect with clients. By the way, you can use the promo code GetHandsDurry or click in the link below to get three months free with any early plan and a custom domain for a year. Okay, so let's see if the glue is already dried. After scraping the glue, I could see if there was any warping in the boards. I could feel that two corners were a little higher than the other two, so I applied a bit of masking tape to one of the corners to create a flat reference face for the drum sander. Once the top face was sanded flat, I could reverse it and make the second face parallel to the first one. It's time to make the final trimming and bring the boards to their final size. There is still missing the olive wood piece that I put aside before the glue up. And that is because I wanted to make a little engraving. So I set up my laser machine and placed the piece diagonally since it didn't fit horizontally on the small bed. I made it off center towards the top because the cutting boards will receive a chamfer in the bottom edges. I can finally glue it up using some scrap wood on either end to protect the board from clamp damage. Once the olive was trimmed flush, I could start routing the chamfer, going slow and doing it in several passes to avoid any burning. The boards were sanded to 120 grit and then sprayed with some water to raise the grain. This step will prevent the boards from getting rough when they are washed for the first time. After one hour, the boards are dry and the grain is popped, as you can see here. I could then make the final sanding at 220 and 320 grit, leaving the surface very smooth.
After vacuuming all the dust, food grade mineral oil was spread around the entire boards and the next day I applied some homemade cutting board cream. It contains pure beeswax, mineral oil and a few drops of virgin raw coconut oil. This type of finish is totally safe for food preparation and when applied regularly keeps the boards from drying out and cracking. And here they are, three beautiful cutting boards made out of walnut, maple, two exotics and a very special olive tree with over 500 years old. The two medium sized boards are available on my shop at gethandstory.com. A big shout out to Zyro for sponsoring this video, as well as to all my Patreon members. If you want to support my work too, head over to patreon.com slash get hands dirty. Thanks everyone for watching and go get your hands dirty. Até já.